All right, welcome back. We've got a bit of a situation here because we're going to modify the Jenner. So if we go to the mech bay, see we've got three mechs being repaired. We've got three mechs ready to go, but we were thinking of doing the mission with the three mechs, so we thought we'd upgrade the Jenner. When we go into the refit for the Jenner, problem we have, and what you can do is you can strip all the equipment, you can strip all the armor, and start from scratch. So usually the Jenner JR7D, the light mech, and it usually has four lasers and an SRM4, short range missile 4 here. Well we do not have an SRM4 and we do not have four lasers, we have three. Even if we go to the local store here, Right now we are in orbit over the planet Claybrook. We're in the Claybrook system over the capital planet of Claybrook. We go to the store, and number one, we've got way too low money. We have payday coming up, and that's going to cause us problems. But we don't have. And you can do ballistic weapons, energy weapons, missile weapons. But when we go to weapons we don't have any lasers that I can buy so we're at, we're short on lasers that's what I'm saying so we have to work with that we could conceivably strip hey, commando in. but that would take a few days to strip commando nothing happens like in a lot of games when you do this it takes bam 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 you do it you strip the weapons you put them on the other mech you're ready to go but if we were to try to strip the weapons from the commando so that we could use them on the general so say we decided to strip a medium laser. That's gonna oh that would probably do pretty cheap actually, looks like it'd be 508 maybe, so maybe we could do it. But we don't want to do that because that would leave the commando unusable. What we'll do instead is we'll make a second gener that's just a little different. Maybe it runs cooler, maybe it has a bigger missile launcher, and I'm thinking what I'm gonna try to do is put the SRM6 on there with a couple of medium lasers so it run cooler. I tried the large laser, but that weighs too much. And probably we just have to make it with like a single large laser, which actually isn't that bad an idea, I come to think of it. But let's put two lasers on, two medium lasers. Let's put the SRM-6 on. We do have a an improved SRM-2, but that's just not big enough. It does, what does it do? This SRM we picked up in the market does two more damage, which could be good, I guess. So if this does 8 damage, this does 10 damage, maybe we will do that. Okay, let's try that. This new SRM2 that we just picked up in the market. One ton of ammo, two lasers, so we're running pretty cool right now. We do need some jump heads, which we should put, let's put them up here, similar to what the spider does. We're going to put the heat sinks into the heat. That way when the mech's in the water, it's getting improved cooling from the water. And I'm not even sure how many... It looks like the heat efficiency might be good just like that. I wish there was a place we could test this, but it couldn't be. So the stock combat you can view this is... Okay, usually it has one, two, three, four, five jump jets. Okay. And it usually has an answer of four. So what we're going to do is... So we got one, two... had there. Let's take a look. It doesn't really show us heat sinks, does it? Nope. No, okay, so one, two, three, four, five jump jets. I wonder where they are on the other one. Oh, we'll put them all here like this. Oh, I know where it is. Okay, it keeps the other one right in here, I think. Which means we've got to go to the store, pick up a jump jet. Equipment. There are jump jets there. got to make sure you buy small. New equipment available. Back to the mech bay. Take that jump jet and put it in the center torso. There we go. Five jump jets. One, zero, five. Now we look at this again because we want to see if it shows me heat efficiency. So it actually has a lot better heat efficiency than we have. So we want to take more heat sinks. Put them here. I have no idea how many heat sinks it had. 
but we're already a ton of weight over. So we're going to knock down some weight on the back. We've got armor on there, protected. Let's knock down a little bit on the legs. We're just trying to get this to the 35, which we're going to do a problem with here for some reason. Just using this has more lasers. What you can do too is you can press this button, which puts everything to max armor and right at the 35 tons. And then you can tweak it a bit. So you can drop these down by two, drop these up by two. It doesn't always work out right, so keep that in mind. And I don't really want to have too little armor on the back. Oh, I see it taking to the nearest five, okay. So when you hit that button, it just basically rounds everything down. Smooths it all out, and that gives us a bit of trouble here because now we've got less armor in, in places we probably need more armor. Let's press the max armor again and try to figure out why we have so much weight. I'm thinking the other machine doesn't have as many heat sinks. So let's drag some heat sinks off. And then the heat's still not quite efficient. 36 heat, 28 alpha strike. So we can do one alpha strike. Jumps can cost us 10. I think it has more. It's going to take 14 days to do this adjustment. Which just is a lot of time to have it out. But the other ones are being fixed anyway, so might as well modify one so it's ready to go. And try to protect the weapons a little better by putting more armor on there. SRM2, which I don't know if that's going to do better than SRM4 or not. But this allows us to work with what we have. So let's go confirm. It's going to take 15 days to make this. And it's going to cost us that much. So once it's made, it's made. And as for now, we're Should going to have Vindicator hard. in two days, the Panther in four. That will give us a full lance that we'll be able to run out and do the mission then. But for now, there you go. That's how it kind of works. Made a mech, I don't know if it's a good design, but as soon as it's made, we'll take it out on a run and keep it surviving if it even is effective. Later.